It's been roughly a month since the UNSC implemented its toughest ever sanctions against North Korea. Since then, Pyongyang has been lashing out with a threatening rhetoric against the measures. But for the first time, it's hinted that it wants dialogue with the U.S. Kwon Sawa has this report. North Korea has denounced the UN Security Council's resolution as anachronistic and self-destructive, saying it only serves to make North Korea even stronger and more self-dependent. This latest statement came through its National Defense Commission Sunday, which released its second statement on the matter since the unprecedented sanctions took effect in March. The commission also criticized the ongoing South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises. What's different this time is that North Korea seems to be seeking dialogue with Washington as it urged the U.S. to come up with a solution to ease tension on the Korean peninsula, but through negotiations rather than sanctions and military threats. The South Korean government dismissed the remarks Monday and said now is not the time for talks. Right now, we have to focus on sanctioning North Korea for its wrongful acts. Our military and the government are responding in that regard. Some experts point to Washington's past under-the-table discussions with Pyongyang as a sign of its interest in peace talks, but others say a similar move is unlikely. South Korea has been firm on first denuclearizing North Korea, then holding peace talks, pressuring the North with the United International Front. As Seoul's close ally, there is a low chance that the U.S. would officially or publicly show its intent for talks with Pyongyang. The expert added the reason why Pyongyang could be considering a conciliatory gesture at this point is to try and tip the scales ahead of its rare Workers' Party Congress in May. Kwon Arirang News.